getting colder and colder in Iceland. Almost like five, four degrees. Especially if it's windy, then it gets yeah, freezing. It, it feels like it's mine, it's on, it's like. So this car here is fully electric. Would you think it's on right now? I wouldn't, no. No, me neither. I often just have to like, am I, is it on? Like, like you won't hear a thing. It's ridiculous. It's a nice car also. Wow. It's, it's called Mercedes-Benz EQC. We're on the way to the gym right now. We just got in the, in the car and the plan today is to talk about my next, my second goal, you know, after the, after breaking uh, one of my world records. I'm very excited to talk about that. I'm also very excited to go uh, train. I wanna show you guys uh, my deadlift session. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you subscribe and like, comment. We'll be dropping more of these videos weekly, hopefully a few times a week if we can. Let's go. Thor, how do you warm up? How do you like to warm up? And uh, this is a funny one. Listen carefully, guys. My favorite way to warm up is literally to lift weights. Like that's my warm-up routine. I've been a competitive uh, athlete my whole career. Been competing at the highest level. I haven't had major injuries. I do understand that everyone is different. Some people need to warm up a lot. But for me, like my body just warms up naturally. Uh, I'm just always warm. One thing I might do though is I like to swing my hips. Hand times each side, each slack to the side as well. For squats and deadlifts, this is something I might do. But that's about it. We have Kelsey's in the house. Yeah, how are you good? I'm good, my legs are pumped up. I just finished a squat session. I'm just finishing up streaming. So my wife, she streams from Twitch. You can just find her as, as Kelsey Vision. Uh, and I'll make sure to have her link down below. How long to a rest between sets? And I'm still getting used to the long rest periods because I just came from boxing and in boxing obviously there's no fucking rest. You do a three minute round and then you rest for 30 seconds up to a maximum minute and you do another insane round. In strongman or strength sports, it's completely different. You do a set which can maybe take you like 10 seconds, then you rest for fucking, this might sound ridiculous, but the, strong, the stronger you get, the longer rest periods you need. But my coach wants me to rest eight minutes between sets and i find it even hard to do so i gotta try but i might just end up resting like five minutes and, and honestly that's okay as long as the weights move well do i mix boxing yes and no and the answer is no <laughs> i'm not a big fan of uh cardio i think i'm made that clear all teams should have this bar here the thor power bar Literally the best bar in the world. You can find it at roguefitness.com. <laughs> Nothing sounds better than iron touching iron. <laughs> we'll just increase by 50 kilograms each set. I just did 170 kg, we'll do 220 next set, then 270, and then 320. Stefan asked me some interesting question. What's my max top lower hand deadlift? I want to say 270 kg. Yeah, that's my best. But I know guys United that have done more. What's your guys max? 65 to 50, I think. What's the plan? What's the what's next for you guys? I think I want to compete next summer. Give it one last go. <laughs> Came close this summer. Need more endurance. If I can work that out, I think I have a shot. His name is Paul Lawson. He's been a few times a uh, runner up at Iceland's Man. Has been competing in Strongman since 2008, I want to say. Seven. 2007. So he's been competing long, longer than I have. And still competing and still healthy. Healthy, maybe I can put a question mark behind there, you know. Healthy is, you know. And, and Stefan, he, he's actually won Iceland's Man. Incredible achievement, that by itself. Finally, when you weren't in the way. <laughs> <laughs> so I got Magnus Classic coming up in a month, a month or so. So I'm focusing on that now, on next year. 
And hopefully I can go somewhere else and compete, not just in Iceland. You, you <laughs> have competed internationally before. I, I've done a show in Canada. I was the world's strongest man under 23 year old. That was my second competition ever. I came in ninth out of 10. It's still a good experience. Yeah. I want to say if my memory is right, my first ever Arnold Strongman Classic competition uh, at the pros, I think it came like a last or nine. So we all start strongman. It's all about just keep going, keep grinding, keep working hard towards the goal. Right? And he is proving that. Already has one title behind his back, a big title, and he's hungry for more. Coke, compete with the best. Yeah. That was the plan. And Paul as well, he was just unlucky, he was behind me. You were, you were twice runner up, I want to say. Yeah, at least. All right, I'm gonna keep, keep training. Good talk to you guys. My last one is tight. I hope that's nothing serious. I want to be careful, guys. I want to be careful with my training. I want to make sure that I stay injury free. I don't want to go back into lifting weights and then just get injured right away. I had a few injuries. I tore my plantar fascia. I tore my quad. I had a nerve issue in my elbow walls. I got balance policy as well, and I'm still recovering. I think I will never recover, recover fully from that. Balance policy for that, those that don't know, you have your face basically paralyzes. And uh, usually in most cases, people recover fully, but in some cases they don't. Doctors recommend people to rest. Resting was not an option for me. When I got diagnosed, I uh, was about to compete at the Eurostars Man, I think a week later or something, or a few days later, and uh, I competed, and I won the show. Maybe not the smartest decision, but I don't regret it. I'm happily married. I was lucky enough to find a wife that likes my cricket face, so... Also competing in Iceland's Strongest Man, like a couple of days later. Yeah! yeah. Beat me, son of a bitch. <laughs> like I said, it didn't affect my strength. It just actually affected my breathing a little bit, huh? But then, like I've said before, it's not a beauty contest. Obviously, it had some effects on me mentally, because like I looked like a Frankenstein for, for a few years, but so be it. Still a beautiful, beautiful man. I appreciate that, Pali. You too. You're a beautiful guy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on! All you got. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go. Strong. Thank you. Oh, you great. have no chalk. Look at this guy. Well, <laughs> there's no chalk in his hand. And it just health, came up as well. Health, health strong. Okay guys, I want to talk about the big announcement. As you guys know, I'm back into training, I'm back lifting weights, I'm getting stronger and stronger each and every week. The big announcement is I'm competing again. And you're probably wondering, competing in what? I am, to begin with, as you guys know, doing the Rogue Invitationals this month. I'm also going to compete in powerlifting again. December 3rd is the day that I'm going to come back and compete in powerlifting, see how my body reacts to all the training. This is by the way, all raw. Raw means uh, uh, no suit allowed, you know, no like nothing that can help you lift heavy weights, you know. I'm allowed to run my knees, I'm allowed, allowed to use belts. So that's about it in the squats. In the deadlift, we do allow other athletes that are gonna co compete at the meet to do a strongman style deadlift. I could have competed in that, but I wanna do a full meet, just for the fun of it, you know. And my plan is to do a thousand kilogram total. Uh, what's that in pounds? I think that's, you can go to Google and find out. Or we can just put it in the video right here. Uh, so yeah, the plan is thousand. I want you guys, the viewers that are watching, to guess what do you think my plan is to do in the squat, in the bands, and in the deadlift. Stefan Sule has to be in this video because Stefan Sule is the best and Stefan Sule is the one that uh, opened his arms to me when I first started competing in Strongman. He was the one so nice, he's like, I was like, Thor, come train with me. I'll pick you up. You train at my gym for free. He didn't even charge me, I think. He picked me up, we trained together. He had his, he had his own gym back there. And then, what was it called again? The base. The Strongman base. There was no heating, no toilet. No see, no nothing. No, no, no. <laughs> but we loved it. Uh, we didn't complain. We just loved it. No heating sometimes during the winter, a like complete darkness, and we sometimes have to light a, a light candle. Yeah. <laughs> like, like no joke, no joke. Uh, look at us now. Look at us now. This is nice luxury. Luxury. Good to see you, Stefan. You too. 
Check him out, guys, on Instagram. Say hi, give him a follow. He's the best. Thanks to Peterson. Do you do programs for people? Yeah, if you you can send me DM on Instagram. Mm -hmm. If I have space, you're welcome. Quick, guys. We won't be crazy for long. Quick. <laughs>